and it is time to crown a champion. Are y'all ready to get this started? Now the competition has been keeping us warm all weekend long, but this first team coming to the stage loves to freeze over hell. Get ready, cause here comes Toronto. I'm interested in making ends, opposed to making friends. Double bags, I've been paranoid, I've been a safe place. I'll take a check. Finishing this drink should only take a second. Mark just cut me off, he told me that I go on station 10. Walk out to my own shit on the main adventure. Vinci, my cologne after the show, she told me that it was a favorite sense. Sprint a fan is spacious, we can take it friends. What happened next, you can take a guess. Show some love to the Toronto Ultra! the Toronto Ultra. They just smoked these guys like two hours ago, and that's why they look so confident walking out onto that stage. This is why they made the roster change. They faced defeat in the World Championship, not looking to have that happen here, but they gotta go through a dynasty. Let's bring them out, Blaze. A dynasty is the best word you can call them. Ready to set the stage ablaze. Here comes those bad boys from the ATL. I have a plan. Crazy with the rage, dangerous and rage. Go for one, go for three, go for three. I ain't wanna take light, look into my eyes. I'm a killer inside, coming for the prize. Do you really want these problems? I put you in that coffin. But I'm never tossing, you put this ain't stopping. Hungry for the beef, leave you obsolete. See my lines keep, see me in the streets. If you want the heat, yeah. Cheer, but get loud for Atlanta fans! We got Draza, Sim, Abizi, and Salium. Atlanta fans in full form. Listen, I don't know about y'all, but I want to know what the hell the plan is that Draza keeps talking about. And I have a feeling we might find it out if they hoist that trophy at the end of this series. The villains of looking for their own revenge on the Toronto Ultra. It's the final match of Boston, Blaze. Yes, it is the final match of Boston, and it's been a fantastic weekend here at MGM Hall. Boston, let everybody know, are you ready to go? Miles Chance, are you ready? Ladies, you know what? For once, we are. Let's get it, brother. This is going to be a fantastic final. We find out who the very best team in MW3 is so far. But as, of course, this weekend, it's going to, I mean, if the competition has been so insane. I mean, the competition we're going to have is going to level up as well. These are the clear-cut best two teams in the game. It is going to be a best of seven in our grand finals. We have the series layout for you, and I'm just going to set it up for both of these teams. Combined for these seven maps, Atlanta phases overall record 16 in three. They have dominated with the maps we have on the side of Toronto Ultra, 21 and three. Even better, they've played it more. It is a terrifying sight, and I got to say, in the big event, as well, Atlanta phase the way they got pieced up on sub base had to get that one out of there. I gotta say, a little edge already for Ultra. We start off with Karachi, they beat him down just two hours ago. They did indeed. Well, it's a long grand finals ahead of us two SDs, two controls, and three hard points. Good news for Scrap. He gets to come a few times. Uh, he is gonna be having himself a grand old time, and in the hard point. He was there, absolutely dominant, and both of them threw a 28 kills in each. The man to look out for, he is looking to be the boogeyman. Here we go, Boston, once more. Onto the breach for all of us here as our grand finals begins. 
First hard point, always off to a blistering start as both teams, they go toe-to-toe -to -toe for map control and for time in the race to 250. And the opening break already won by Ultra. Get the extra time, get the jump in, but now you gotta get those trades. Scrap looking nearby, another team kill, by the way, coming through with the grenades of Atlanta phase. They have been owning each other. Not what you wanna have happen, but Simp delivers for two, and Atlanta deliver the time. Uh, phase, clean house now. Top left-hand side of the minimap, Ultra in position for the next hard point. Every minute, these hills will rotate. They'll stay there for one minute. You have to soak as much time as you can. Oh, and these are some nice kills coming through for Atlanta. When they played Karachi earlier, it was the middle three here hills that Ultra dominated. And that starts right at P2. Ultra are going to be here first. But right now, selling him, MacArthur, 3-0. and It's Kleenex going to back him down. But FaZe are swarming around this new time. FaZe are in. Ultra just on the outside, waiting patiently for the hit. Here comes Selium from up high. Gets into the fight. Finds one. Here towards the back line he goes. The rest of his teammates Fighting around the point, trying to get themselves in there. Sim picks up the last. That's his hard point. Hey, that's the break you need if you're Atlanta phase. Keep that lead maintained and force these back alley spawns. If they're going to be spawning here forever for Ultra, they're going to end up on the back foot. So this is clean and efficient work right now for Atlanta. And you even got Sim on the time. He's on a four. On a four spree for now. Five make it. If he gets six, he gets a cruise missile. Very handy on a map like this. Let's find out if he does get that in a moment. For now, Abizi trying to keep those players away from the hard point. In Atlanta phase, you can see very warmed up right for this match. They got dominated on the middle three hills. Well, now they got a cruise missile. They got the lead, and more importantly, they have that rotation pushed out the right directions. They are waiting in the wings for this hill to pop. Atlanta will be there first. Great job from Atlanta early on. They've got a wonderful lead to work with. They're now making their way over towards that new hard point. In a second, it's going to pop open. Able to get that time. Now active. Selly and do what he can to hold these players back. Lovely damage across two of them. Over to Simp now. The man in the hard point. His teammates are still spawning close. But he's taking these fights alone. No problem. Here comes a BZ. Gets a pair. Set him in for the kill. If that damage does not come through for Selim, he does not slow him down enough, but the job being done by everybody on Atlanta. Abizi collecting the time, one direction a look, and maybe Insight trying to take an angle. He's trying to bang out just the side. Not an easy feat for Toronto. Just like one direction, it's hit after hit after hit. Here towards the front line. Abizi on three, ends it from Insight. Inside of the hard point, you now go Ultra. And this has been an unreal theme for Atlanta phase on the day. That is another team kill with the grenades that roll through. They have been making those mistakes constantly. I don't know if that's a comms thing or if they're just getting unlucky, but punished forward. And now on rotation, Ultra are swarming around the new time. Flying forward towards the bottom side of what we call the fountain. You won't be seeing this next season, folks. This has been patched out. But for now, we get to say one last time this fountain hill. And it is an absolute bloodbath in there. And you got Sam taking the deep route, but the timing might oh, be no. perfect. Well, it lines up a few teammates. And now oh, you no. bang through the door. A team kill from the other side, but Simp is going to falter. The teamwork for Atlanta, not on point. And now for Toronto, maybe a moment to attempt to stabilize. Envoy up top, keeping these players at bay. A very difficult situation to be in there for FaZe. Diabolical on the approach. Now the Ultra, they have the time. And Envoy from upstairs. This is the power position for this hard point, and he's going to stay there all game. And Envoy, as long as he's alive, and if Insight falls, Envoy just gets to jump over top like that, man, and gets sent in for the kill. But in the point, the ARs are delivering. Scrap and Insight able to collect a few, and this has been a phenomenal fountain hill, able to get the final few players, draws a last man standing. Oh. Insight guns him down. Now you set yourself on at the rotation. Toronto again will be there first. We were so excited to see that lead that Atlanta phase had built. Well, it's all gone now. Toronto Ultra firmly in the lead. Lead. Rotation down once again. They've got themselves over towards new. And that is beautiful positioning by Scrap as well. Nice Tuckley in the corner. No one's going to sneak past them. And you get those early entry kills. And now you got Insight. Easy reads. Keeping it busy at bay. Everybody on Ultra. The guns are getting warm. Smoking up so far here in map one. Not what you would expect given the last time we saw Toronto Ultra in the finals. Sorry, guys. Had to say it. Hard point still in the hands of our purple team. Our cousins from up north finding the kills. Selium now managing to get the entry stun check there from Scrap. Gets it, but good coverage once again out of phase. Yeah, Selium, that true difference maker right now for Atlanta. His tracking through walls is impeccable. A menace to play against. An insight trying to divvy out some damage as well. You get a couple kills to break the point, but for the final 20 seconds, you see how much Ultra want that. They just sent four players for that final 20, and a little play like that can go a long way. They've built themselves a very solid lead. So many games in this tournament alone 
have ended within that 20 point mark. So truly every second counts. We say goodbye to our first set of hard points. We go right back to the middle of the map once again. And right now, toe to toe, Scraps are the inside. He has no idea that Abizi is there with him. A quick contest, check the corners. Teamwork will make the dream work. Last man up is Abizi. That's FaZe hard point. And there you go. You know, Insight was down the street as well. So a beautiful start on P1. Get everybody into the right power positions. Selium looking from the heaven above. Right now from Ultra, Insight's been alive for such a long time. They've almost locked track of him. And he's just waiting for his teammates to get in position. They're going for the clean break. And that's two. Oh. That's three. They nailed it. Perfect teamwork again from Toronto Ultra. So fresh, so clean. Toronto Ultra, time going their way. There's 25 seconds to be had here on P1. They've already got a man top left. They're playing the long game as well as playing the time. And a break on like that on P1, it just sets you up so far in advance. You're going to have the perfect rotation over towards P2, and you're going to be comfortable. Maybe you fall out of P1, but the other players already set up around the zone. They know where the pressure is going to be coming from. Ultra consistently ahead of the game. Rolling, rolling, rolling through these hills. Hard point now active. Top left hand side of the map. Oh, Draws please. and cleans house from a distance. Wonderful work. Kleenex now waiting patiently for the reinforcements. FaZe have to set up a defensive perimeter around that cafe. And look at that timing too. Players watching the flank for just a moment. They lost track of him for a second. The stun's going to connect, but he's dished out some damage. Kleenex going to get tags on a bunch of different players, but can't connect with the kill. Now I got Ultra just trying to pierce their way through the point. Abizi's going to get cleaned out. And now it's just a front smash through the time. Successful pierce. Through the back line now. Big tag. Selim still alive. You've got players there for Ultra on the point. Envoy in the back door there with a rival nine. The perfect place to be with a submachine gun. Riddles Selim. Keeps the time flowing in favor of Ultra. Envoy once again in there. Last bullet in the mag and he stays alive. Oh, he's doing it for the final 20 seconds as well. Bedraz is going to take it from him. So all these little fights towards the end for the extra bit of time. But ah. you can see how much Ultra value it. That is one gunfight that saves you 15 seconds. And now on that rotation, a couple players spawning out. It's actually going to be Draza, the deepest one. So Atlanta might have a pinch, but that means the guys around the time need to slow him down. Trying to slow him down. Here comes a BZ with the nades and the tacticals just to keep these players at bay as best he can. He's stunned up. The hit will be there soon. Draza, lovely coverage there with a pistol. Beautiful work out of phase so far. The teamwork is there. Let's have a listen in and see how the comms are. Jamie's on new, laying down. They're spawning right in. They're spawning coop. Hey, look shot, look shot. Yeah, he's spawning on me, I'm busy. Yeah, honestly, I'm Yo, one spawn bust on me. I need a sec. Where you work for? Top, top, top. Top, top, top. Top, top, top. Top, 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 top. Top, 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 top. Top, 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 top. Top, top, Listen, listen, this is great time, okay? Let's see, I'm gonna bang low with you, okay? You go top, the comms are great, but the listening is difficult. Insight so difficult to keep track of. They were screaming stairs. They didn't check in. If you miss on Insight, he goes on a six spree. He gets the cruise missile, and hey, you might get the final bit of scrap if you're Atlanta phase, but once again, they are behind on the rotation. They've been exchanging the lead over the listening. And for now, you've got a cruise missile to play with. Sim's got his, Insight has one as well. So eyes on the skies in a moment, but look, we're nearly there. Next hard points up. Phaser in. Lead change once again. And the pace has been slowed down again. Ultra always group up together to try to make those teamwork plays. Trazaville reading the pressure from up top, so he's calling that out to his teammates. Watches the back flank as well. Gets the next kill. Looking for the trades, because Ultra, they've made it into the time. But Draza is there. Pistol shot to get it done. Faze still have the time. Please house. Fresh mag. Not fast enough on the draw. Envoy gets there, cuts him down. Looking towards another lead change. If Ultra can get in there, but no, FaZe are still running the show. Over 200 points now. Sim starting to find the kills. Three in a row for him. Draza 
Plaza has been a standout in the individual kills department, and now Chris Lair is starting to heat up. This time is massive as well. Atlanta might just be driving the spike in, getting that nail home. The final 15 seconds absolutely going their way. Now you get a setup around. No, play for the kills, and the terrors are getting them all. Back to the middle of the map now. You've got yourself streaks to play with also. This could be very helpful for FaZe. Ultra are not out of this yet. The team that has shown us the most prowess as Speak of the Devil, and he will come down from the sky and clean that point out for you. Well, you got to get that trophy. Yeah, no, not there for Sim. He is going to fall. That is the 6 on Fountain that delivers you this P1 time. Draza jumping over top. Can't make the play. Scrap there for the kill. And it looks like Ultra making him work for it. Bad news, though. There is a trophy system down in the hill. Can it be disabled in time? No good. It doesn't hit. Toronto's still in control. And also, you're going to have a, a lot of things to dance with in this moment. FaZe can still break this point and win, but by the looks of it, they might just chalk up a good chunk of this time and rotate towards new. By the looks of it, P2 is going to decide this game. Scrap staying down, staying in cover, staying on the time. 10-second game now. Envoy up close, reinforcing the point. The new hard point to the top left is all phase. And you got 12 seconds before that hill is going to pop. Ultra going to have a man in all. Oh. They got to try to make the break. That is not the start they're looking for. Inside on the wings, looking for the extra kills. The damage good. But four players for phase are grouped up at new. Abizi just crosses the way of the alley. And now the fight is on. You have to get in there fast. Kleenex does. Cuts through the back. Can't get the second. The hard point still in the hands of FaZe for now, but nobody on the time. And FaZe have the close bonds as well. So Ultra are going to have to fly. They're going to have to make those hero it's plays. CQB here on the point. FaZe are in. Scrap from the outside. Finds one. The back line now. The hip fire. No good. Time now in FaZe's hands. The break. The break. Ultra hold. And they're going to get it to Insight. Get a clean house. It is non-stop. It is endless. The pressure that Ultra apply. They make those consistent teamwork plays time and time again. And then when it gets mixy, when you just have to fly and pop off as an individual, well, they can do that too. The swarm on P2 towards the end it was almost inevitable. Inevitable. Well. Map number one, 250, 239, we got ourselves a grand final. And I just love that look because it has everything. One of the slower maps we have seen out of Scrap, who picks them up is Jamie Insight, the other AR for the squad, 29 and 19. That is the man that on the Fountain Hill, we heard the comms of Atlanta phase. They are screaming at Simp, he's on the stairs, he's on the stairs. Simp slides in, does a 360, can't get the kill, and Insight in that moment turns it into a six spree, gets the cruise missile, and we saw the impact that had in the end. Indeed, well, we saw what the trophies did to those last few hard points. Well, guys, a quick replay of the final moments here. This is the break from Toronto Ultra. Keep an eye on those very, very close scores. And it's also like Atlanta FaZe had a few moments where they're just getting a little bit of time stripped away over and over and over. Kleenex there to dish out one player, but neither Simp nor Draza came in quickly. By the time they do, it's the extra reinforcements that in. The trades there from Insight and Scrap Deliver, and it's just buying the time. Simp has to slide out for the trade. The extra man from Ultra is there, and then it's just overwhelming. And look who finished on the six, make it seven spree as well. Insight for MVP. Another massive spree there from Jamie Craven, adding to the stats. You can see from this point in time, all angles covered. Toronto Ultra, soak it away. Find that map one victory. And that has got to feel so sweet. Uh, I mean, that is an electric start to the match, especially because you had Ultra sitting there waiting, watching that previous series. Had to get the guns warmed up a little bit. But you also just got to look at, like, the consistent plays that they're making. How many moments were, like, Envoy was the last man standing? Does he run into the hill and try to make the break? No. He waits for the regrouping, for everybody to get back in the mix. We saw on an earlier P2 as well from Kleenex. He's sitting bottom right. All of his teammates die. Come on. 
off spawn. He doesn't rush in. He waits for the play to come to him. Ultra always on point. Admittedly, you see how much of a battle that game was. Maybe seven different lead exchanges, but 252-39, a devastating way for Ultra to kick this one off. Now we go to Skid Row SD. I believe it is a 2-0 record for both of these teams. Actually, that's for the Skid Row hard point. For the SD, though, that is the theme for Atlanta. That is what they are going to need in this series if they want to hope to win. Search and Destroy will be a very crucial one. We'll see if that goes the way of phase. For now, Ultra. Breathe all that fire up your lungs. Try to get the heart rate right back down. This is a team that likes to play in a very comfortable and very calm environment. About how frantic the gameplay looks, they're very, very much in control. Phase at the same time, Chance is another team that they can play very fast and get very hectic. I think with Draws are on the comms as well, they're going to be a spicy team indeed. Going into the search and destroy, though, it's Envoy and it's Simp. We're going to be keeping a big eye on. And, you know, Simp throughout this year so far, he has been one of the best, if not the best player in the game. But in this major, Envoy has been there to match him. The stats incredibly comparable between the two. A few extra kills for Simp, a little bit better on the opening duels is Envoy. But you know these two players are are just gonna go toe to toe. No stranger to these matchups, no stranger to each other in the grand finals as well. You know the play style, you understand your opponent. This is execution time. Skid Row SD is going to be a spicy one. Both of these teams will mix up the strats. You'll see the tunnel hits, you'll see Kleenex flying through the top middle of the map. The two best teams in the world, an absolute square up map. Two of the best teams in the world, four of the best players in the world. Feast your eyes on Skid Row SD. And we talked about the tunnel hits as well. This is the type of play call where you just want to set the tone on the map, but look who's here. Oh. Made him strap dealing with the whole squad. He gets taken down, but Kleenex oh. gives you at least two. The battle is here, a 2v2, and we got everybody split on the map. Hey man, when my teammate does that in ranked, I'm smiling from ear to ear. You have at least one player trapped there. Or do you? Oh, insight now on the hunt. Chris Lair, turn around, son. Jamie Craven's right there for it. Draza makes it a 1v1. Now, the race is on. New man on the squad versus one of the most clutch, if not the most clutch player in the league. Insight almost always wins his ones, but no one, and I mean no one, grinds like Draza. And he's got a right gun, potentially, for where that bomb is located. He's going for the swing. Moving with purpose and moving very quietly. Draws are now looking to recover the bomb. Insight on the stairs. Don't make too much noise, you may hear him. Here comes the fight. And patience may pay off. It does. Directly into the trap of Toronto. And that is the, uh, the tricky thing about Skid Row. You can grind as much as you want, but Insight just lives for these moments always. The ice in his veins, chewing the gum and watching that body fall. First round for Ultra. And I will say, just to backtrack a little bit, that is also shutting down the tunnel hit right from round one. Ultra always ahead of the game. Yeah, Scrap gets there fast with the Renetti. His attachments give him additional movement speed. He gets there very quickly. And that stun slows them down just enough for Kleenex to get in there and finish the dirty work. Great start from Ultra. Let's see what FaZe now do on defense. Uh, you got the rival nines down low, maybe looking for the uh, window hop-ups. Kleenex, he just loves the show. He runs straight at you, but he gets caught. Abizi, the first Blood Reaper, able to give you two. He's back on it. He gets two, gets away with his life. The rest of his teammates, though, are flying forward. My word, FaZe. Answer back real quick. And what did we see from Toronto on this map when they played against Seattle? It was quite literally a Kleenex montage, sprinting up top, running through, going on the instant flanks. Kleenex plays a no hesitation game. He doesn't hesitate there, but the game planning from Atlanta Faze able to catch him. Some amazing S&D minds on the team. And the double-edged sword of being such a successful team this late in the tournament is everyone has seen your tricks that got you this far. You'll be watching out for Kleenex on those flanks, especially here on Skid Row. And again, good news about shutting down that tunnel push first thing. Atlanta phase almost consistently going to make those adjustments. Bit of a standard push as well. A lot of players swinging through back alley. Kleenex is flying forward. He's got himself into tools. Now, post up, watch the jump up, make sure nobody gets involved. Envoy's there to back him up as well. Yeah, back alley's been left wide open, but Kleenex is ready if they come up the push. You got number three inside ready for the flanks. And insight can help on these gunfights. So a lot of players on Ultra. The teamwork might be here, but Abizi again finds the first blood. Somehow managing to find these kills time and time again. Abizi trying to create a space for his squad to flood in towards that A-bomb site. Another opening, and Kleenex finds it. That's that teamwork again. Insight is going to give that intel to Kleenex. Long time teammate, these two. The chemistry always on point. Kleenex now 
Spotted out. Insight helps out as well. All this gunfire gives away your position right now. There's no suppressors, there's no hiding. It's a straight up fight here on Skid Row. And I'm watching the motor mouth in the comms. They have the intel on Atlanta phase, looking to clutch this two versus three. Checking all the corners, draws a heads up on it. But again, it is just the information battle. Toronto right now ahead of the war. Yeah, watching out though, phase. You're running out of time. 25 seconds on the clock and you lose the round. Trying to make something happen as Draza. What a play. The Alaskan assassin lives up to the name. Still though, 18 seconds on the clock. You're gonna have to fly, collect that bomb, and look for two. You are just running out of time. Sully managed to recover the bomb. Is he able to get the plant? I do believe he was spotted. Draws there to cover. Oh no! They line up! Scraps got the damage dealt! Cell wins the fight! But it's not enough time! He's gotta hunt down this one more player! Kleenex! A fraction of a second. Gives Ultra the round. Yeah, that is wizardry out of Selium. And props to Kleenex, too, for being ready for the gunfight and not trying to run away. Selium won that first fight, but lost the round. Ultra, again, on point on defense. And it really is just a classic look, man. Insight from those back apartment windows. It takes so much effort and energy to go and hunt him down that time was the biggest factor. 2-1 lead for Ultra. That's how important time is. Whether you're buying time, whether you're burning time. You gotta watch out how you spend it in these SD rounds. A BZ, long gone. We'll see him in the next round. Yeah, that's the difference between a uh, lightweight boost, by the way, and a covert sneaker. So mess with those timings. Devil in the details. Ultra, man advantage. <laughs> Certainly dressed for the occasion. Man advantage, Toronto. Certainly now with a big advantage. It's 4v2. And no one shot him on the cross either. So you're expecting a little bit of clearance towards top mid. Four versus two. And you can take your time. You can get the bomb down. You can clear everything out. Simpton draws of the players. They are trying to hunt down. Simp now, last man standing in a one versus four. I mean, good luck. We've seen him do it before. 1v4 is very possible with a bomb planted, though. This is going to change the focal point of Simp's attack. And that's just tough. <laughs> <laughs> Ultra, spring to life after the post-plant position. The score's now three to one. We've seen him do him before, but Ultra is simply not that team. You have Toronto Ultra, by the way, currently on an 11 hard point win streak. So coming into it, search and destroy is FaZe's best opportunity for this series. But when they played Toronto Ultra earlier on, they got pieced up. It was a 6-1 win on Invasion, and right now Ultra doing the exact same. 3-1 lead, and the round's starting to look a little comfortable. Well, those hard points, man, that's purple flames in ranked. Can they get extinguished here? Nades up from Envoy. That one's going way downtown, and no one's going to be entering through. Oh, it lands. There we go, the plat. The play's on. Envoy is not going to slow down. The stun check's going to hurt for a moment. Is it going to count for anything, though? And if you push out of this, you are going to die. Tears in the wings, but he doesn't push. He just reads it. The trade is through for the three versus three, but there's the wing kill inside. Oh, no. The advantage of BZ last man standing, tagged up and assuredly going to get hunted down. Question now remains, though, for Ultra is where the hell did a BZ go? Scrap, not leaving anything to chance. Holds the angle, the crossfire from apartments. Ultra. Simply watertight. I mean, look, Skid Row is a small map, but you still have Ultra spreading as far as you possibly can. Insight making this at home. And there's a look at his line of sight, by the way. He can help with the plat fights. He can help with the P1 fights. He can see if you go top fire, the overseer on this map. And right now he is seven and two. And that's off the back of the utter domination he brought to map number one. Insight is on one in these grand finals. Jamie Craven, MVP level player. I wonder who gets MVP at this event. We'll have to find out as this matchup continues onwards. Stun grenades blast the doors wide open. Kleenex there for the check. And another play that Simp likes to make. He likes to chow through tunnel. Guess who's ready for it? Doesn't matter if you're ready, though. Gotta win the gunfight. Simp, first blood, advantage. Atlanta! Oh! Can't knock it down, but you do force the team kill. And boy, unfortunately, the team kill there, but Insight dives in to help out now, Simp. Oh, it's another from Insight. A masterclass. Five in a row. Easy read. Selium, you need this round. You cannot go down five to one. Can you clutch for your team? 50 seconds. The bomb's going to get planted at A any moment now. Selium's just waiting for anything, any slither of information. And that's the info he's going to get. And he's just looking to isolate a gunfight, but you see the corners up for Ultra. And Envoy just brings the beamer. 
Easy reads right now from Ultra. Every direction phase comes from. They are just sprinting into a pre-aim. Envoy, the timing is perfect. Abizi wow. sliding down the stairs. Right now, Ultra, a little too fresh, a little too clean. It is 11 to 2 on round count on the day between these two teams in Search and Destroy. Toronto, Ultra seemingly have their number. Very, very good start in the Search and Destroy for them here in our grand finals. What are they going to do now on defense? Well, I'd say the problem for Atlanta phase is what are they going to do on offense? Now, if you go back out, it's a triple stack. This could hurt. Oh, Nate's. Trophies, Simp finds two, Kleenex gets the other two. So now it's a 2v2, all down to Kleenex now as Draza and Abizi apply the pressure. And yeah, Draza was flying maybe to get a little bit of that intel, but Kleenex has completely disappeared. Last time they saw him bottom garage, he has already made his way up top and that bomb yet collected. More information though, than always out by the steps and you see the play call, grab that bomb, wrap all the way around over towards B. But if Kleenex can find these close gunfights, oh my god, that rival nine could be devastating. If he, no, I think he, was, I, he, he was spotted. Uh, if he managed to do this quietly, yeah, the bomb's long gone. And that is respect, by the way, to not even deal with them, to just rotate back over towards that A side. So respecting Kleenex, playing with the information, Atlanta Faze cannot afford to make a mistake. Kleenex may only be a step or two behind, but now it will feel like a league. He has to make two kills and get the defuse. Here we go through the murder hole. Perfect stun connects. There's one. Tags. The dance. Abizi. With nerves of steel. Keeps FaZe alive in the search. That would have been a dagger if Kleenex is able to connect, but Abizi, no stranger to the 1v1s. As good as it looked for Kleenex, you see that is why they are paying respects to their opponent, not playing any games. You got to make sure you stay on point. A long way to go, though. Still down 5-2 to two is Atlanta. And props to them. They were ready for that back alley square up. A lot of guns. Aiming down that alley. Guns and trophies, you name it. They were very, very prepared for the fight. Ultra fast moves. Now through the window. Easy right there for it. Draza helps out with the fight. There is Kleenex immediately on the trades. Back and forth we go. 3v3. And this is an aggressive spot too. I don't know if you read the angle. Insight trying to run oh. for his life, but he just got the kill and got out. Get a pure reset on the 2v2. Insight is the untradeable. As soon as he gets that kill, he's gone. It's still a 2v2. The bomb is down on the other side of the map. Ultra are going to be able to collect this one. Draza now just combing the apartments, looking for anything. Yeah, it's the two ARs right now. Ultra just looking to get some information. It is a straight up MCW battle all over this map. Plenty of time still to work with, too. Atlanta Phase, you can see again, trying to play mistake free. They are flying together. And Scrap has the long line of sight. He's on the other end of the corridor now from Selian. And the only thing Atlanta Phase cannot see is if you go for the deep crossover towards the B site. But anywhere else you go, you are going to get spotted. You hear the shots coming down through the alley. And you got number five, Draza, playing off the information, but he plays into death. Scrap ready for it. Last man standing, Selium, a one versus two required. Here's the fight. Scrap. Big tags. Bomb planted now. Selium in an absolute 1v1. In sight, right back on the same spot. Selium, red like a book. A devastating scoreline in the search and destroy. Ultra take the lead two to nothing here in the grand finals. That is now 12 to three in round count in search and destroy in favor of Ultra against FaZe on the day. They have been obliterating them. They can seemingly do no wrong. I honestly thought Kleenex was going to get that 1v2, but that is one of the few rounds Atlanta Faze really pushed them in sight again. Not only did he just drop double digits, not only is he still the MVP of these first two maps, he also won both of his ones, dealing with both of the ARs of Atlanta Faze in sight right now at his finest form. Seven non-traded as well. He managed to escape. And the most insane thing about this, by the way, that was six first bloods for Atlanta. They got 3v4 on cooldown. Toronto Ultra, again, they do little things, right? They do the easy things even better. They are looking fierce on the main stage. Well, Toronto Ultra making a very, very strong case for the finest team in the world right now here in Major 1, but we're not finished yet. We now play Control. Invasion will be the map of choice 
here in our grand final chance we've still got a little ways to go it's first to four here in our grand final and uh, they're halfway let's face it and it's looking pretty convincing we're gonna go to a quick commercial break when we come back we are playing control ladies and gentlemen don't go too far for you in the venue run to the toilet get a beverage maybe something to eat we'll see you right back here after this The Painted Alabrije bundle is available now in the Call of Duty store. Inspired by the folk art of Oaxaca, this stunning bundle offers colorful, vibrant, and mythical items you gotta check out. The Call of Duty Week is brought to you by Monster Energy, the official energy drink of the CDL. And 
here we go, folks. Map number three. We are moments away from getting straight into this one. Welcome back to the Call of Duty League Major One Finals here in Boston. We've got Toronto Ultra taking on Atlanta Phase. So far, all good for the guys in purple. Oh, absolutely fantastic for the guys in purple. Good news for Atlanta Phase, though. They did play this series earlier. We're going to the only map where Atlanta Phase actually got a win. Invasion control is what we have before us. And I mean, these two teams, I know we talk about defense on this map. These are the best in the world at actually winning those offensive rounds as well. So lethal threats on both sides of the table. It is going to be Ultra that start off on the attack first. And Atlanta Phase need to cook up something special. Cannot let anything slip away. But Ultra just about their business straight towards that B zone. Here we go. The newcomers to the CDL control is sort of the, I don't know, it's sort of the child of search and destroy and hardpoint. Two zones to capture, a limited number of lives to do so, and we take turns attacking and defending. Uh, good eyes on Draza as well. Even better shots there from Scrap on point right now, but right now Ultra just looking to buy an extra kill. Not getting completely slammed for the moment. Still able to get out of your spawn, but these are some delicate moments. If you get tucked towards the back, that could be a massive problem inside opening up the A street, but Ultra right now very far away from touching either zone. Reaching out. Trying to touch A. Because B is still very much safe and sound right now. Many members of FaZe, whoa, Envoy. Picks up two. And when they played this map earlier, it was Envoy and Kleenex on the attacking rounds that were absolute class. They were dominant, and they deliver you moments like that. And keep in mind, Kleenex on the flip side might get shut down, but so many of those Atlanta phase arrows get dragged that direction that this B cap is looking nice and safe. Two members there of Ultra touch in B. It's 35 seconds on the game clock, so if you're phased and you get in there now, you give yourself a fighting chance to stay alive in the defensive round. It was still, it was Sim actually and Selim would get in there. The capture's nearly done though. Oh, and that's some crazy timing too. Selim actually managed to get out, so Selim wins a one on B, and actually it's the nade that gets the job done, and they catch Envoy. Ooh. That B zone yet to be captured. Atlanta Fay is really applying the pressure on defense. Keep Kleenex away, body block, throw stuns, whatever you got. A BZ's there for the kills, gets two! Ow. Insight now trying to keep the play going. 20 seconds remain in the round. Wins the fight, there we go. Ultra should be able to jump on this. Yeah, big win by at the end there by Envoy as well. That could have been spicy, but now we go back towards the standard B zone secure. You're happy about this round or at least fine with it if you're Ultra. A minute and 10 to work with and everybody grouped together. They're always on point with their pushes. Looking to make something happen here. Be easy slowing down players. Damage is one thing. A minute now added to the game clock and less than a minute to play with. Selim and the rest of phase find a corner, any corner, and stay in there until those players run by, holding that defensive line. Yeah, there's about 97 different corners to check if you're working on the flank. And of course, when you're coming off spawn, draws the guy on the bridge, the player you have to deal with. So with Atlanta phase, everything covered around their base. Nice little map spread. Selim, though, throws away his life. So a little bit more pressure on the next players of Atlanta phase. A BZ, though, delivers, might get traded, but he still has so much presence on the map. Nice teamwork out of Toronto. Lovely comms. They're making the way okay. forward now. Sims in trouble. He managed to pull away one peels kleenex now leaves him as a pile of mush on the streets of invasion in 22 seconds ultra not even really time to group up number one and number two scrapping on boy gonna have to make something happen and it looks like atlanta phase having absolutely none of it a very standard round so far of invasion control 10 seconds last ditch effort in absolutely nowhere to go both teams taking care of business that was the final opportunity there insights last life not enough time to get near the point phase take the first round and that is going to be the typical when it is juggernaut teams getting after it on this map you heard scrap talk about it in the interview after the series they gave away that one extra tick on a that is what decides the game on invasion control with teams like this you have to make sure on defense you don't give anything away so solid stuff there by atlanta now their turn to attack See if they can string together something special. So far, the only thing certainly being strung together is Selim's kills. Three in a row now. If you can get to six, that cruise can be very handy. Both of these zones relatively open. Here we go. And they're looking for a potential A hit as well. A couple players at least toying with the idea of easy going to pierce straight down through B Dom. You're looking to get the kills. And if you get a nice little wipe, they're going to haul ass over towards showers. That's the first kill under their belt but still not a lot of action. They're almost playing this like a round of S&D, trying to hunt these players down, but that's the next three in line. A 1v1 gunfight down this A street, and that A zone might be open. I think Selim just walked by. He did. Selim snuck by, and now he's capturing A alone. 
The B caption now working out also. One segment done. What a situation to be in right now for FaZe. Draza, while airborne, catches out one. Selian from the zone. Damage is there. Massive work done. Yeah, not quite able to get that tick though. That could have been the difference maker in the game, but no cigar in that moment. Now Sim still applying the pressure. He is electric on offense, but he gets shut down and we have to go back to the standard push. Slow work in that B zone. Insight maybe working the flank. Ultra grouping up together for this hit. Ultra grouped up. Ooh, Scram's gonna put Draza very much down. Down, but not out. We're nearly completed the work here at B. Once again, that's another minute to play with. That's two minutes and four seconds. Here in the round, with both teams sitting at very healthy amounts of lives. 23 apiece. There we go. Now we attack A. Yeah, and Ultra, they weren't looking to actually stop that zone because Atlanta phase didn't give them anything to bite on. So they're just keeping that positioning up towards the middle of the map. Right now, containing Atlanta phase, funneling through the B street. And we talked about it, 97 different corners you have to check. Atlanta phase, not easy to make something happen, but for Draza, that's a nice start. Yeah, good thing for Draza. The first corner he checks as a player, and it's him now from upstairs causing nothing but problems for these members of Toronto trying to leave their spawn. Sim's got a little parting gift for them before they get into the fight. Yeah, but his team's so far away coming off spawn from Palace, so just tries to be annoying, see how much attention he can drag. Two players effectively looking for Sim. The other two players right now, Vulture, though, towards the middle of the map are looking for everybody else. Sim gets dealt with. Nobody in your spawn. No flanks coming through. All guns forward. Phase no, though. If they find those kills, they've got a set amount of time to get towards that zone before any of the defenders will respawn and even be able to contest with it. So for now, Ultra, slow things down, smooth out that defensive line across A. And again, all these picks you're looking for, Envoy, so annoying. Any extra kill that Ultra gets, you see it's just gonna drag MC back this direction. Does trade out the kill and get some tags on Scrap and Insight. Insight does get traded out. A 2v2 right now near the zone, but every kill Ooh. Ultra deliver. Just sets Atlanta phase so far back in the trade, always with Ultra, gonna come through. Uh, very much so. So close to the spawn of Toronto Ultra. So you get the kills in those positions, they're basically right next to you in a few seconds. Can they get themselves on towards A though? FaZe are still pounding their way through these defensive holes. But the teamwork has made it so, so difficult. Yeah, that's such a good nade as well. It gives you that little entry moment. Kleenex might just be that next player in line. Atlanta FaZe, this is it for the pressure. Here we go. One way the kills and you're in. There's two. Envoy now holding it down. He finds a pair of his own. No damage dealt. They get on their zone. Scrap. Can he find these kills? He's on the flank. Scrap gets the pair. What a masterclass. Two HP and a dream in the pistol to make sure nothing happens. Last ditch effort now from Draza, but seemingly no way. Oh. Guns hot in a moment like that is the type that goes such a long way. Ultra strong on defense. And all tied up on the objective front. Quick look at this final kill. Sim was so hit, damaged up, moving out of the spawn. Invasion's a big map. We've seen some different looks here on defense. There's a lot of different places where you can play from to keep those players away, especially from the A zone. And now from Ultra, we might see a different look on offense. Doesn't happen often, but a lot of A hits could potentially gum through. Ultra, you see in the comms, it's the decision making. What do we want to go for? Maybe back to what we saw round number one. It was actually three players last time that were working the middle of the map. This time it is full speed ahead right towards B. It could not be more opposite to the exact setup we've just seen. Phase, three of them go to A. Ultra, three of them go to B. There's the capture. And, and what this is going to do from Ultra because of read like that, it is just going to be insight slowly capturing this B zone. It takes 45 seconds to get it with just one man. That is 45 seconds of freedom for everyone else on Ultra. Slap to get the kills. Scrap's going to give you three so far in the round. And now you're really putting the pressure on Atlanta phase, trying to work back out of their spawn. Scrap right now, he's on one. Wonderfully disciplined play here from Scrap. He runs his mouth, but he runs the game just as well. B zone, gone. Five in a row now for Scrap. Oh, he's getting hot too. You can see it in the play. He is chirping, he is screaming dead. I wish we could listen into that. But he managed to get a couple of kills. Pressure now certainly on. Ultra with a life lead. Ultra now with a lot of presence across the map. Yeah, you're feeling the heat when Scrap's getting the hot hand. Trades though rolling through. 
talk about that 1v1 gunfight simp wins. The headshot multiplier paying dividends. And the rest of the team, everybody's pretty calm, pretty chill in the approach towards that A zone. A lot of explosions in the background. Scrap, certainly the most animated member of Toronto Ultra right now in the feed, as well as the kills department. Through the back alley, he fights. He's claimed two more players, makes it three. He has torn FaZe to pieces. Oh, he's still going. They're going to get here, too. Draft the last one on the point. He is gone. Two bodies on the point. If you get one tick, you're feeling great. But Ultra, they might just take more. Here we go. It's like trying to slow down the attackers. FaZe scrambling to get into the zone. They dip a toe. Trophies are working overtime. Kleenex finds his. Can't get the second. Draza's in there. In sight. Loses it once again as Draza saves the day. I mean, Envoy, though, still keeping this pressure up. Everybody was near that zone for Atlanta phase, getting tagged up, but Envoy can't quite gun him down. Sully in the bailout gives you two. But again, that is a successful moment for Toronto. They got an extra segment, and they still have a minute and a half on the clock. Ultra, keep that pressure on. Yeah, it's a wonderful thing to have. You know, you build up that lead. In the kills department, you find those segments, you look towards that final round, but we're not over yet. A minute 15 still to go here. And Selium, it's armed robbery here in the store. He's taking care of business. And that's his fourth kill in a row, looking for streaks. Yeah, that main AR going on some flanks. Selium, though, does eventually get taken down. It is still going to be that B Street funnel. Kleenex, the most aggressive player, does have insight. And Envoy right near him. Scrap finding another kill. Kleenex, though, can't win the gunny. The trade's coming through from the tears. Dang, you get the stagnation on defense. Right now, Atlanta phase, they deliver. Perfect workout phase. 45 seconds to go. They have to survive at least one more very solid push. But as we've seen on Invasion, these hits take time. And that was a great decision by Selium. You actually had inside above him, shoots his gun. He hesitates for a second, but commits to the street kills, and he gives you two. Right now, though, you see the swarm. You got inside maybe looking from above, and everyone else from Ultra, they're setting up once again. Made it through A Street, made it through ACD, uh -oh. and they uh -oh. got the entry kill. Uh oh, Selium on the cross. He's let them in. They've managed to start the capture. They've stopped the clock at 22. Selim now trying to fight his way forward. It's Envoy should find the kill. You've got to get in there. Final four lives for FaZe. Envoy still holding him at bay. The capture there. Abizi gets in. He finds two. Abizi somehow finds two. But it's down to three on the defense, and there's only 14 seconds. Ultra, if you hightail it, you might just be able to slay. Can someone make it here in 10 seconds? Hold your breath. Count to three. Selim, there's one. The second. Slams in sight. Guns are there. The last man. The clock, it's done. Face somehow pull out a win there. I mean, that is ungodly. That is one oh of the closest God. rounds of control we have had this year. And again, Selium, that is two different moments where if he doesn't react in the exact fashion that he does, Atlanta phase lose this round. Selium having some amazing moments. But that is just to save the game. Here's another look at a, an ABZ two piece that we got earlier in this round. And you got a lot of little things going right for Atlanta. Oh, that man. is still a good round from Ultra. Keep in mind, on the objective front, they are way ahead. So you saved yourself potentially in this game, but on the attack, you still have to deliver. Well, FaZe are on map point now. If they can attack these rounds successfully and capture both A and B, or whittle down the lives of Ultra, they get themselves on the board here in the series. Still a long way to go. You can make something happen on offense. You just cakewalk your way into the next map and you get a little bit of momentum on your side. But unless you pull something off crazy on offense, you're going to end up with it again for that final round. In Ultra, they can apply the pressure like crazy on the defensive end. Draza, though, going to be dragging some attention. It's a 1v1 gunfight potentially as against Insight. And Insight oh, attempting no. to leave him. And that's enough time for two players to come in for the kill. Raza looking for just the first. He's able to get it, Ooh. but he does get shut down. But still, Atlanta phase. You see what they're doing? It's a two front war. He buys some time. Oh, lovely. The rival nine. Great range there from Abizi to help out. Now, Sim's got a beautiful angle. Beautiful to work with. There's the capture. Second segment of B gone, first segment of A gone. Wonderful work here from FaZe, they're spinning plates. And this is exactly what you need on the objective front. You're nearly there for the second tick. A couple more gunfights to win, and Simp eventually just too many players to deal with. In oh, the meantime, man. though, that B zone is captured. One tick is great, but you want at least one more. But with two minutes to work with, Atlanta FaZe, make no mistake, can still just win the round. Yeah. Operation now for FaZe is managed to somehow traverse south down the map. Abizi is moving with tremendous purpose. Dead silence. 
does not get reset, so he makes a little bit more noise now. There's lightweight boots slip sliding there through the streaks of invasion. I mean, look, you're going to have so many players on this point. is going to be here. Number five right next to him. Draza, two players on the point. The capture is going to go fast. I don't see a trophy nope. down, but I'd be a problem. But you at least already got the second tank. Now you're winning the gunfight. No! Oh. It's slamming you home. He gives you two. He gives you the zone. They call game. We may not have a trophy, but we have we have a simp. Which sounds a lot weirder than it really was. He got a nice two on the outside of the zone there. Atlanta phase. They've done it before. They do it again. They get the win there on invasion control. And they bring the series score to 2-1. Do we have a... Do we have a finals on our hand, Chuck? We have a finals on our hand, and I tell you, that is a couple different individual pop-off plays coming from Atlanta. Abizi went on an absolute tear during that round. He was just roaming the middle of the map and not only set you up at the end, but set you up at the beginning, too. Atlanta phase just dominant with that pressure towards the end. See 13 kills on offense there from Simp, 11 from Draza. Making those massive plays, but not even just that. It is like Selim on the defensive end the round before Ultra. That could have been an absolute dagger if they won that previous round. But Selim with the wall bank, always on point. I mean, Selim, dude, he's on the spice, man. He's got that foresight, the prescient player. Single play gets him, what, two, three steps ahead for the rest of the guys, and that is it. A quick look at all the highlights from our Invasion Control. That was definitely a fun one indeed. Ultra slowed down somewhat, but chance against Scrap, individual plays. So many of the highlights are his. He was playing like it was personal. Oh yeah, I mean, Scrap goes on like a six free at one point, but the play that I am just waiting to see, waiting in the wings as this is gonna be the two piece from Scrap that he pulls off with two HP. The timing was perfect, but <laughs> it is Selium. That was at the end of this current round. It's that moment where he sees that player run out in front of him. He's going for the slide for the challenge, and then it just realizes, oh, there's a guy, B Dom, that I got to kill. Snaps on him, snaps on the next two, and gets him through the wall. So that is massive play by Abizis here, but it's that moment, the kill on inside, and the double damage right there for the next two players, a thing of beauty. Selling right there in the kill feed, in the plays department, you know, Selim is a player that a lot of people look at and they just think he plays for kills. Is he really that impactful on the map? He finishes all these hard points with the least engagement by a mile, but he is always just an omnipresent threat. The damage dealt is always absurd. And he is a player, when he has to switch up the pace and make those sort of plays, he delivers. Selim, a monster, always an MVP candidate. And he's showing off the good stuff there on Invasion Control. Beautiful stuff. Now, can he continue it into our Skid Row hard point? Mac Bang here in the middle of the series, the hump map, before we get to another search and destroy. But that's how things have panned out so far. That skid row is going to be very, very difficult indeed. Crowd are there on stage, dressed the nines, trying to get the boys another map win, trying to tie up the series. The equalizer will be very, very handy, especially going to those search and destroys. As we get into the very sort of tough part of the grand finals series layout. And this is an incredibly interesting map for a few different reasons. One, if Toronto win this map, they break the CDL record for most hard point wins in a row. But on a map like Skid Row, they basically never played it, or not basically, they literally did not play it throughout the qualifying stages of Major 1. They haven't shown off the Skid Row stuff until they come to LAN, where they are now 2-0 on it. And of course, if you watch Toronto play against Seattle, they were smoking hot on Skid Row as well. Of course, make no mistake, on the flip side, Atlanta phase also a perfect 2-0 on Skid Row, but we already know where the hard point domination has faltered, and it is very much the left side of that stage. We've heard Ali talk about this as well, that you know, no matter what a team's performance is, what their record looks like, when it comes down to it, it's all about who's playing well on the day, and that can be the way with Call of Duty. Fist bumps complete. Final checks, adjust posture. Make sure your hands are dry and your mouth is wet. Here we go. Skid Row hard point. You know what that means for Scrap? Yeah, you do. Here we go. Well, we're going to have to pay attention to him in the hard point game against Atlanta Faze in the series early today. Absolute domination coming out of Scrap. That's why he gets so excited for it. Of course, we saw on that map number one, that was where Insight was throwing up the MVP numbers, and those are the exact numbers we're talking about. The 1.5 KD, two different six sprees that he goes on in that game. Credit where credit is due, made the heroic plays, but at least if you're forcing that action for Atlanta Faze, you know they're ready to fight.
There we go. The race is on. And so far, Toronto Ultra take an early lead here with the kills and the time. Looking towards P2 as well. And this map especially, Charles. We're talking about the importance of the top left-hand side of the mini-map right now. Well, this is also like the exchange. The top left is where all the, like, the, the big gunfights are coming through, looking for those rotations. Atlanta Phase is going to have that rotation of P2, but you still don't want to necessarily give up all of this time. A BZ wants to fight for it. He can't get it. So it might just turn into a massive lead for Ultra, who's still three players getting sent down potentially through ticket looking for that Ooh. rotation Linux is gonna get there he has strapped to work with Atlanta phase you are down by this much on the first hill you have to deliver on p2 the second hard point top blue was warehouse here this is gonna be the site of our next battlefield for at least a minute Oh Kleenex God. now fighting his way forward. That is an Omega class mutant right there. Six spree from him. Disgusting work. And now for Atlanta Ooh. phase, it's like a 2v4 you have to defend with from the point. But the guys in the hill deliver. They buy the extra kills and they slow the pace back down. But there's two for scrap. Maybe a few trades coming through and Sim gets the next one as well. A delicate balance here on P2. But so far, Atlanta phase are perfect. So hard to break this hard point. You need perfect covering fire from the AR players okay. to allow the subs to get in. And this is what we're looking for right here up through the top window scrap trying to get terra draws and gets it that's the break and that's a solid 30 seconds that is the type of play that just wins you maps eventually they break through and they get that time ultra a massive moment make no mistake in this game a huge advantage they are going to have and on rotation over towards new insight boasted up gun straight ahead his l trigger he does not miss now a slight war of attrition my god here in the back alley can insight get any more that would be a lot to ask for. Again, trade, so teamwork from Toronto Ultra is so important. I mean, you get the scrap time and you also win this rotation since Ronald Ultra right now running the show. You're going to have to funnel through back alley. Kleenex, easy reads on where this pressure is going to be coming from. Simandraza, step up to the plate. Great work there out of Kleenex and the damage. Not enough for the kills, though. Selium joins the fray. Only two members of Ultra now alive on the point. Draza sends it. Selling from the stairs, patient play, but scrap and on by Sim. Oh my god, the trades, it's all done. Still just for a 1v1 though, the two players Ow. are gonna chow, but a BZ with the drop shot delivers, and FaZe might have been behind on the rotation, but so far have delivered. You see Insight maybe just waiting for a kill to fall into his lap, the nade there to take him down, and on rotation, Sim doing the old college try. Next gun fight's gonna be against Kleenex, and this is one for Sim. You feel like you're gonna need, but Kleenex doing the smart thing. It's no ego, Charles, he's waiting for the teammates. Oh boy, snaps instantly. You know he's in there. Here we go. Knock, knock. Who's home? It's Sim all alone. And he's backed out and he's let Ultra in. And again, because Kleenex is just waiting for the teammates to come, it is a perfect break that they're able to collect. Sim also making the heads up play, waiting for the reinforcements. But Ultra here first and still getting those kills. No point in just throwing the life away. Waiting for his teammates to show up with tacticals and lethals to throw. That's the trophy. Draws getting in. Oh, he gets the kill. Here's the bait and switch. They are one, two. Into the point we now go. Slow and steady, though. FaZe get that break and a lot of time. And again, Sim, one of the most heads-up players of all time, making the big brain play in that moment. Might only have two kills, but just to stay alive and keep that pressure flowing. And from the old point, Sim oh is still God. getting kills. On rotation is Celium. FaZe might have turned the game on the tides. You're going to basically tie this game up going towards new, and of course on a P5. I mean, this is one that FaZe, you expect to be electric and able to hold it down. Oh, one of the fatal funnels, Selium, mowing these players down for sport. Five spree for him, one more, cruise missile. New hard points up, the containers to his right-hand side. He is the guardian of these angles right now. And this might be the moment, well, funnel enough, if he's gonna spawn out, but that might just turn into a pinch. You do have a cruise missile on the side of Ultra. You might choose to elect to use it here, but you almost expect it's going to fall into a trophy. Reading the pressure on Ibiza down low, but you know he's there. Doesn't mean it's easy to kill him. That is the player out of the hill, though. The cruise is actually taken down. No trophy found in the opening through ticket. Can Sim hold these players back? He gets one. Selling with the coverage. Sim can only do so much. Lovely work out of phase. That open parking lot full of bodies now it's just a nightmare to cross yeah gonna get that parking ticket as well because you have to park yourself and wait for the next set of kills to roll through envoy in the back line but a god angle from sim either way for toronto ultra the cruise missile and to strip away all of this time make no mistake is a beautiful thing atlanta phase could have turned the game on its head instead it is going to be close to a tie going in towards new these two teams are battling Ultra making the most of the cruise, though. That is a wonderful heads-up play. 
This situation could be so dire for FaZe right now. But there we go. P1 back in action. Let's go for a quick listen in with Toronto Ultra. Still low. Just get behind you. Just grab him. Take a volley. Low still, bro. I'm just. P3 weak. He's on the stairs. Front, front dumpster. P3. He's close. He's telling me front. Close P5 too. Stay alive. On the dumpster. And low dead. Nice, Jimmy. On the dumpster. Dumpster. Dumpster dead. Nice. One in garage. One in garage. One take garage. One time. Garage. One time. Two two. One more. Nice. One time. Time is weak. Time is weak. Stay forward too. Jimmy. One more time. Ten times. Last guy. Dumpster. Already out. I think he's already out. We don't have a gun. Dumpster. One shot. Can we close? Climb. Weak. One more, I'm one shot. Get the next. One more climb right now. I'm naming. Close, 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 close. And one cross, P5. One close already. I got P5, one fence. And Toronto Ultra, the best in the game at the most difficult things. Two P2 breaks in one game against Atlanta FaZe. That is a dagger in unacceptable on Skid Row. Oh, my word. The kills department all over the place there for Toronto Ultra looking absolutely magnificent. So far, FaZe are still managing to keep themselves in this one. 200 points now crossed. It's first to 250, so FaZe have got a ton of work to do, despite the fact they are being heavily outslayed. I mean, this is just such a massive problem right now for Atlanta. You have dug yourself in such a big hole. You cannot afford to lose those P2 rotations, but they have been getting picked apart. Kleenex found himself in between a massive amount of FaZe players, though, and FaZe get a nice little wipe off the board. So a moment to breathe, a moment to stabilize, and a rarity from Ultra. Players dying one by one. They got to get regrouped. And in the meantime, while they're grouping, they are losing so much time. A lot of time. 34 seconds remaining here in the back alleyway. And for now, you're keeping it very much under lock and key for phase. But the problem is not this hard point. It's the next one. And when you're dying one by one by one like this from Ultra, you can actually feel that pressure mounting. Atlanta phase are going to be at the perfect full 60 on the back alley hill. And on the rotation, you know Kleenex is above you, but if BZ having a rough game, gets hunted down again. That's the problem. You gave him all the time in the world, and now Ultra have set themselves up perfectly for the barbershop hard point. The apartments, the alleyways, all the nooks and crannies are now full of Canadians. And you have a BZ at 9 and 22, and this is only a 20-point game. You're looking Swap. for big plays in the final moments, but Envoy takes down two. Envoy the front line. You've managed to punch a hole. Can FaZe get closer? They don't have a lot of time now to burn. They have to get inside the hard point. Kleenex up close and personal. Selium joins the fight. Kleenex. Damage, no kills. Sell, Sim in the fly. Insight goes down as well. But Envoy is still alive and kicking. The hard point, it's still Toronto's. And they can still win it here. The contest is coming through. The trade might be there to BZ in the corner. Might be just enough, but for Insight, you don't want to give away all this time. Still want to get that pressure on. At least contest or fly forward and get these kills. Jaffa Nades, send it. Trade perfectly. Hard point still very much in the hand of Ultra. And look at this battle. It's the battle for the spawns over towards new Sim Re Oh! He gets gone. That could have been game right then and there. FaZe are in position now to maybe soak some of new, but look how close the score is. And keep in mind, Simp is actually going to turn this into a potential pitch. Envoy, though, is going to read it. So Simp currently in the blender, but that new time coming through. A cruise missile broke it last time. Let's see what happens now. Sally, and this one's got your name on it, friend. I hope you have a trophy. Gone. Here come Ultra. Can Kleenex win the game? Oh! Selium answers back with a cruise of his own. The battle of the ordinance right now is a tie. The trade's coming through from Atlanta. Desperation to hold on. The time's still in their hands. But such a long way to go. And now with the extra kills, you see Ultra. Everybody group up together looking for the chow. Sim squares up, takes the fight. 25 seconds to go. Stay down, Mr. President. Abizi on the cross. Pushes forward, gets two. Honest A, back in the fight. And he got two. That means we're going to more than likely go towards new Ultra. They toyed with the idea, but this game oh. is going to end in P1. And Draza went on the fullest of flanks to try to set his team up. Back we go to P1. 
Every single moment has to go the way of FaZe right now. Ultra, they're in the apartments. They're in fire, they're in money. FaZe have got to get a move on right here and now. Go, send it, try to contest. It can't be done. And you saw for a brief moment there, Ultra have just put themselves on tournament point, but it was Insight telling the boys, good stuff, calm down, it's not over yet. Just started to unravel towards the end. I mean, that is an utterly insane game that we just witnessed. 250 to 237. But let's talk about some different hills. Atlanta phase, Abizi starts out 4 in 17. I mean, Shades of Zuma for the moment, but you also had a P2 hill that got broken down twice by Ultra. You had a P5 hill that got broken down twice by cruise missiles because they couldn't get a trophy nearby. And with all of those negatives, Atlanta still keep it close, but close isn't good enough. That is the hard point win record now achieved by Toronto Ultra. Doing it against one of the best teams in the world on the main stage in the biggest moments. Their hard point is absurd. There's the game flow. FaZe never once managed to take the lead back. There was a two second moment towards the end of P5 where they could have had it. Ultra from start to finish simply too much and now they find themselves tournament point one more map and they become your major one champions and that is just again such a, a painful thing for the hard points to be lost like that both of the nail biters both of them if little things go differently easily could have fallen the other way but here we are ultra's got that 3-1 lead they are feeling comfortable on the main stage and so far they have had atlanta's number certainly have well we have a double dose of karachi now we'll find out how that goes after this very very quick commercial break when we return Will it be the end of the tournament and the start of a very, very solid season for Toronto Ultra? Or will Atlanta FaZe do what Atlanta FaZe does? Pull things back and make it very spicy. We'll find out after the break. Start the season strong with the Call of Duty League Pack. Grab yourself the CDL Operator, Weapon Blueprint, and so much more. Check out the Call of Duty store in-game now.
Shenanigans here in Boston, not only on the stage, but also in the crowd. As everyone's having a good time, except for FaZe right now. They're not down and out, though, but they are in trouble. It's now tournament point for Toronto Ultra. One more search and destroy chance, and they can lift a trophy. I mean, this is a terrifying thing, too, because, like, as you said, down but not out. Atlanta FaZe is never a team that you actually want to show any doubt towards. They are incredibly capable, but in search and destroy, they have been getting bullied. It's been their best game mode all year. Coming into the tournament, you might have even said they're the best S&D team in the game. Ultra, though, have been obliterating them, even when the first bloods are not going their way. Ultra just picking them apart left and right. 12 to 3 on round count on the day. Insight MVP performances left and right. Atlanta FaZe back against the wall. What can they do? First bloods were important. And Abizi does exactly what Abizi does. Gets the first. But that was the thing for the last S&D map we watched, where they got six out of the eight first bloods, and they still lost rounds consistently. This would be a 3v4 retake from Ultra if A's actually decide to go and plant that bomb. But the pressure on the flank is there. Selium dealing with two, and Ooh. he's going to get caught. The man advantage maybe already faltered, but Draza there for the trades. Draza from up high helps out a lot. Oh, abizi has been caught by the Voyeur inside. Deals with him. 2v2, bomb down a B. And that is such a late bomb plant that has actually so much more time for the Ultra players to work with. Draza, though, going to have the information on both of them. Sim now the opportunity to roam and make the play. But Draza going to have to play it safe. Let his teammate do some work. Oh, eyes on. Sim at long range with the rival nine. Eliminates one of the best ARs in the world. All down to Kleenex. He's been here before. How did he know Sim was the top of that truck? Uh, that is pure gunny and pure reaction. But that is a massive play coming in from Cliss Lear. Sim. Two-time world champ MVP at a solid number of events. I'm telling you, man, Ultra on these retakes, they are the best team in the world at it, but he makes the big play to shut it down. A massive flank after that bomb goes down, shoots the two players in the side. So him and Draza working together expertly, and they get that first round. That two kills from Simp will go in the pile for now. Attacking round now for Toronto Ultra Bomb. Most likely in the hands of Envoy, as is tradition. So again, for FaZe, if you take care of Envoy, you know most of the time the bomb's down. And straight towards B, this is the site in the game that is most difficult to retake if the bomb actually gets planted. And Draza barely able to get away without getting first blooded. So right now you have a stranglehold over this B site. Atlanta FaZe, they do not want to see a plant. Yeah, Draza's thankfully on the right side of that wall. Explosion starting to dwindle. We're running out of lethals. And you see because of the positioning right there from the players on Atlanta that Ultra might not want to deal with it. Maybe play for picks. Maybe slowly work that bomb out towards the A side, but still worried about the flanks, worried about the pressure. If you go towards A, Simp is the man you have to deal with. They're directly below Simp right now. He doesn't know that because they're most likely wearing their sneaky sneakers. Oh, he just heard everything, though. You might not get the first blood, but Simp does have the intel. Abizi there for the trades on the other side of the map. So a couple key players getting taken out, and Simp ready for the timing. Bomb's going to get planted, but that player is going to fall. There's the extra kill. Man advantage for Atlanta. Gets away with his life. The smoke. Oh, it was so close. A single bullet in a Kleenex would have changed the fight. 2v2. And because of the late smoke, Ultra knows that no one actually went uh -oh. to hop that bomb. Kleenex, the dead oh. silence. The timing is perfect. The gunny is not. It is all up to Insight. Insight now trying to get the damage into Selium to slow him down. But Abizi now making his way through the back alley for the kill. Back and forth they go. Oh, and it's a door fight too. Uh. It's a door fight and Insight might be able to do it. It's a door fight! Oh my god! The jaws of defeat through the threshold from the hip. And that is beautiful stuff. He boots that door open, completely jukes out the player in the back alley, and just buys himself the extra time. Easy reads from insight, the cheekiest of place. The King of Clutch strikes once again. Trying to recompose himself before we start round three. But that was a decisive one. And just a little nod after the clutch, too. That is not a player that's going to pop off and scream. This is a man. He is a professional about his business, and he is earning that paycheck. A slight upturned lip and a nod of the head is all it takes for Insight there to display his, uh, his pleasure with himself. A 4v4 to start things off here in our round once again, folks. We go at it. The Toronto Ultra on defense. Yeah, Shotzi's got the palace, but Insight has the clutch, and Envoy has the beamer. Distant shots with the rival nine. 
And that is a hell of a first blood. You get the intel on Draza Envoy doing, for the moment, a great job of staying alive. Love you, Nade upstairs. Doesn't do a whole lot. It might have pushed that player out of the power position, what we call top third. But the problem is Kleenex. The trade. Wow. Made him certainly work for it. 1v2, all down to Selium. And this would be an ace if Selium is able to collect in sight the best in the world at the clutches. Now we get to see Selim's turn at the attempt. Knows there's one player nearby. Reading the second as well. The shots are clean. The tags are there. And the teamwork impeccable. Serrano there to gun you down. And that is the difference. No clutch moments slip through the cracks against Ultra. They are always on point. And you can imagine the, I mean, the disappointment for Selim there. He gets damage into one player and a totally separate player appears in the position he's expecting them to be. Makes that situation so much harder. It's a one round advantage for Toronto. And a one round advantage can feel like a mountain when the tournament is on the line. Toronto back, bomb in hand. Again, you had great positioning on defense from Atlanta phase the previous round, but now a 2-2 split, so they're going to be a bit more passive. Might be the opportunity of Ultra if they get the reads and they're quick to check out the cross. They know the presence is going to be a little bit distant, but it doesn't make things easy. But if there was ever an opportunity to get the bomb down at B, this would be it for Ultra. Draws a fantastic throw there with the frag grenade. Waiting for his teammates to reposition now through the center of the map. If he can get rid of Scrap, he does. Those boys are not able to move freely through the middle. Still though, this bomb's going to go down. This is the most difficult bomb site to retake. Good news for Atlanta. Oh, they have the oh. extra man and they have the extra two. Bad news though, you lose your planter. Phase now with the advantage. Kleenex tucked away. Very, very safe indeed. The smoke. Kleenex, he pounces. In sight, long gone. Phase. Find the equalizer. A little bit of finesse there from Salian towards the end as well. Great reads on that reef flank from inside. A scary player when you know the clutch situation is on the line, but they take care of business. That first blood went such a long way. Whew. Bomb successfully diffused by FaZe. Tied up two to two. And that will be another theme. We've seen Scrap on this map. It's a lot of the times the SMGs being aggressive going on the flanks, but Scrap for Toronto will absolutely attempt to be that guy, but gets caught with the aggression. Currently sitting at one and four. Might be forced to slow it down. Another round. FaZe will attack this time round. You know, I've mentioned a few times that the B site most difficult to retake. Well, Ultra is the best at defending it. Abizi again, though, looking for the first bloods. Players are stunned and tagged up. He might be getting the information, get sent in for the kill, but can't find anything just yet. A lot of players from Ultra stacked up and found. He's just processing the best sort of play. He saw a lot of red dots. He has an idea of where these players could be. Now he has to make the move. Watch his own back for now. He doesn't have a teammate in position to help out over towards the B side of the map. But once he gets his kill, he does give them free reign to fly on forward. And he's just going to have to stay stationary over here in Rubble. An incredibly difficult player to weed out from this position. But the action right now going to be on B. Simp making the move to get the bomb down. The most difficult site to retake, but Ultra the best team at it. Well, here we go. Good luck. Have fun. The opening exchange very even between Scrap and Draza. Abizi, stoic in his defense at the middle of the map. No one's getting through that without him knowing. Well, Kleenex is going to try, though. Well, smoke's out on one side. This is where the chaos commences. Insight. They've crossed over. Scrap v Draza. Walks away with the win. Not without a pound of flesh. 20 seconds to go. Envoy now trying to clear out all these positions as fast as he can. Gets himself another sim. Joins him in the feed. 3v2. And Abizi's going to get caught. Abizi's going to get caught and traded out. And now, but only 12 seconds on the clock. Someone's got to go stand next to that bomb. And no one even defused oh! it. Oh! On time to Kleenex manage it. He's got it. He's done it. 0.7 seconds. And an incredibly brave and selfless play by Ultra to all dive the bomb. They body blocked his bullets. It was the perfect choice by Simp. But Scrap, what a round. And you see Envoy going from the top bridge. He's calling out. He's got to be down low. Got to be down low. That is a nail biter of a round. But how patient Ultra was. A BZ and P1 waiting for those kills. Kleenex never over Charles. He never runs through. It is always the teamwork they have. And not just that. Scrap has the gunny as well. That win against Draza. Won them the round. 2-2 two, two split here from FaZe on defense. 
these rounds have been so electric. This time, though, Toronto Ultra heavily invested over towards that B-bomb site. The nades are going to certainly hurt. They take care of Kleenex. We'll see him in the next. Yeah, messing with the timing. A little bit delayed there from Atlanta Phase. Good enough for the first blood. And Salium almost certainly sees Insight up top. But these are impossible gunfights to win. Oh, Salium no. is a player, though. They can do the impossible or just way too aggressive and gets caught out. Now a three versus three. Andraza waiting for Sam to swing back over and help him out. Right now, the lone defender of the B site now has a little bit more cover on the cross. Oh, yeah, Draza's. Uh, his head's next on the chopping block. Scrap with the warning shots. Yeah, I'm here, man. Remember me from the last round? Nice work through the middle of the map. Envoy does not fall, though. He stays alive. And now a shuffle. Middle of the map heavily populated by Ultra. So that time is ticking. Ultra running out of it. Oh and Ibizi backing down and repositioning. This is a very difficult player to find. In the meantime, the other tear down low. Going to get caught. Ibizi found as well. And just like that, the round collapses. Draza left in a one versus three. Well, they don't win their ones. Ultra managed to somehow pull it out. And now Draza. It was all smiles. He had a great situation. And now you are well up, shit creek, my boy. And there is no paddle in sight. That is a big one from Toronto Ultra. And these are the types of rounds where the nerves just build and build and build over time. Who can deliver when you need that ice? Ultra had been coming out on top, catching both of the tears with less than 20 seconds on the clock as they're rotating over towards the A site. Ultra on point. You're two rounds away from victory here in Major One for Toronto. And keep in mind, that is another round where Atlanta Faze get that first blood and just cannot deliver. Two nades, two stuns. Right through the middle of the map. Abizi gets a lot of information. Faze have decided to hit the go button. Ruthless aggression as Abizi puts scrap into the next round. But getting the first blood has not been enough for Atlanta Faze. They still need to execute. And Kleenex, this might all be about the timing. A lot of noise and a lot of doors being opened. When does he want to strike? When he decides to strike, it may be so decisive. Number one. See the instant reaction. The stun does not connect. He knows those players have now gone into hiding. And his headset on LAN is working. Great reads there for the 3v3 with the bomb down. Ultra still the pressure on them to move. Ultra now moving over towards the bomb site. Insight takes care of Draza. The numbers are fantastic. Onto the bomb we now hop and Insight's got to watch all these players every possible angle. The phase counterattack can come from. I don't believe what we are seeing. Another ninja defuse. Toronto Ultra. Tournament point. I mean, they are toying with Atlanta phase and search and destroy. They are making them look like a bottom tier team. How many first bloods are they going to get and falter towards the end? A team that is typically mistake free has made every last one. In Ultra, taking full advantage, one round away, and they are your champions. A celestial level of composure right now from Toronto Ultra. They can do no wrong. And now in the final round, Envoy throws an absolute doozy, takes care of Draza. And what can Ultra do when they have the advantage? They can shove it down your throat, looking to execute everybody grouped up together. Sim's got a lot of work to do here towards the bomb site. Catch anyone out as he checked his possible corners. Gets gifted one. That's insight out of the equation. The bomb planted for maybe the last time here in Boston. It's a 2v2. Simp and Cell going against Envoy and Scrap. Split on the map for the moment. 32 left on the clock and Scrap gives you the next one. Another gunfight one. Can Chris Lair save his team now in the most dire of moments? 25 seconds on the clock. Smoke is out. And Simp, he's trying to pierce it. He can't get it done. Ultra are your champions. From the fires of an embarrassing defeat at champs. The team reborn. Envoy joins the roster. They break records. They break teams. They break hard points. Toronto Ultra have just put the entire league on watch. We are in for one hell of a season. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with tremendous pleasure and with blistering pace set against all their opponents 
Toronto Ultra have cut their way through the CDL. They are your major one champions, Toronto Ultra!